Hey everybody, welcome to Pure Snow Runner. Welcome back if you're a repeat offender. Uh, we did in the last video, we did first logging mission. But we are still here. We need to go to the garage. Long log trailer. Another truck trailer too, it makes big time. And we're gonna go get some medium or long logs. We gotta go to the sawmill. Trailer. All right, let's make it up a little bit right there. So let's trigger the mission. We only have four left. If we start doing timed events, yay! Up and running. Three long logs. Now is it three long logs or three? I think it's three trips. We're just gonna make three trips because I ain't dinking around with kind of all the three of them. Like tow. Not in the terrain we gotta go, sorry. It's not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. This is gonna be crazy enough as it is trying to uh we're just gonna go around the corner and back up. So as I said on the previous video, uh, as far as logs go, I get them all from the uh shipyard over here. Or the shipyard. I guess it's just a train yard, but a uh, real yard. Hold on. Brakes. I get them all from here. Okay. Off we go. Now, okay, so this, for example, it says three long logs three loads uh, i get my logs from here this area these these area uh, it's unlimited logs now the other location to get logs on this map is well this is where i gotta go you would think a sawmill would have logs but anyway is this log station here which only has three logs which means it's not three logs like it says in the upper right it's three individual logs which then is only one load like this. Obviously there are more than three little logs on this trailer, but the way the game is, if you put three logs on a trailer and hit pack cargo, you have a load of logs like this. So you're only gonna be able to get one of those from that location. You're not gonna get three trips, three full loads, you know what I'm saying? Very deceiving so I just keep going back to this place come on uh, I don't know this one's gonna be a fun trip though because the terrain is not very flat I gotta do it three times we're just gonna recover back trailer do it multiple times instead of driving back and forth shove this thing in the low highs but I don't think that's on shift Hope for the best that we don't lose any logs because this will turn a roughly half hour mission into, oh, I don't know, an hour and a half mission. <laughs> it will happen. Don't try to be a hero. Don't try to take too many crazy shortcuts. Don't regret it. It's no more, it's not fun pulling logs out of the thing. A log crane. Picking logs back up, loading them on. Especially when it's a long distance. So anyway, this channel is all snow runner, hence the name Pure Snow Runner. If you think you want to see more of it, smash the like button and uh, hit the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, uh, ring the little bell. Uh, so that you get notified of when the newest videos are. If you are a repeat offender, you have already done all that, and thank you so much. And I'm just trying to be straight. <laughs> yeah, if you're a repeat offender, you already know what to do. Here I'm saying, don't be a hero. 
take too many crazy shortcuts. But you know what? I was trying to take the straightest route. And it wasn't so bad. There is one spot up here that I'm going to tell you. It, it just it just sneaks up on you. All of a sudden, it's low dis Low moly. It's low moly. Is that a word? Slow mo -ly? I don't know. It goes really slow and it just. Very slow. It's like slow motion. It should be a word of style. It also just. No reason, just tips over. The ground is a little bit uneven, but it's still uh, insanely angled. Which is why I won't pull a trailer through. Because I've done it before, and all of a sudden you lose one. And it's like domino effect. Unless you unhook that cable, because they're attached, coat strap, whatever you want to call it, uh, you will tip the other one over. Now you got a mess. You got two loads of logs you got to try to put back together. It's just. But it's up here. Just before you get there, too. It's like, oh, I almost made it. It's kind of like why they say most car accidents happen within so many miles of your home. Because of the fact that you get complacent. It's like, oh, I'm almost home. Your car goes down. <clears throat> And you end up, you know, doing something stupid. And the funny thing is, it's not the funny thing is, but the same thing with other neighbors. So, like, they're, they're on their way home, too. So, you know, so, like, you get fender benders, people backing out of their driveways, and you're not paying attention. Muck them. Because they get complacent on where they live, and it's like, oh, there's never anybody on this road or whatever. The traffic's very minimal. Here's your spot, by the way. So be careful. To get to the right, it seems like it jacks it up. So I'm staying on the left side. Not that she'll remember that exact location. But it's pretty close to the sawmill when I was there the first trip. <laughs> like the final corner. Right in this area. Because again, we're almost there. So. <laughs> Not taking a trip. I don't care if I gotta make two trips. Not gonna do that. But yeah, you run into somebody who's backing out of their driveway because you're complacent. You're not really paying attention 100%. We get the road's not very busy and nobody's ever up at this hour or whatever. You know, boom, crunch. Neighbor Fred, who's backing out of his driveway, not paying attention. I don't, know. I don't have a neighbor Fred, but all right. Grab another trailer. Two more times. All right, excuse me. But yeah. And again, if you're a repeat offender, you know what to do. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, leave a comment, leave a like. If you're new, leave a comment that says, hey, I'm new. Appreciate everybody. If you have any questions or comments for anything, you know, it's like, hey, can you help me with this? Or what would happen if I did this? Or, I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. I have gone through the whole game. Even the new maps on my other, not recorded. But on this one, of course, I know we're way behind in the game. Da, 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 da. Just the way it works out. Every mission is logged into the library. And there have been a few that I messed up on, so you can find it. There might be a few missing, because some of them I didn't realize were actually missions, and it happened and it was over. So I think there's only like three maybe that are top here. If you have any questions about those, feel free to ask. <coughs> about any of them, for that matter. Learn 
the mud. Where you go through there. Or get the photo. I just think this game is fun, which is why I play it and stream it. <laughs> I mean, I've done a, I've done, I've done a couple hundred videos already on this channel. I'm up on three hundred, I think. And uh, I do I do record in advance? As, as many as I can do a day off. Uh, so if I can wipe out, like, because I don't do live, and I don't edit out any of the mishaps and stuff like that. If I tip over, I tip over. You guys get to see it. I'm not a... Uh, I'm human. Things happen. Accidents happen. This happens. Bound to happen. Sometimes they happen more to some people than others. I don't know if it's just the fact that. I don't know if it's a skill thing or just that you're a better driver or I'm luckier. <laughs> We're going back the same way we did the last load since that one. You can go this way again. It's just the straightest route instead of taking an angle. It seems to work well. But, yes. Just be careful. That's all you can do. I mean, just like anything in life, you know, just brush through things. Accidents are bound to happen if you're trying to go to but Just like work or anything like that. People get hurt because they're trying to go too fast because it's all about production for the most places especially in manufacturing places I worked factory for a long time I know all about that and I'm more about quality I prefer to have it done right and uh, you know and be good to be pushed through That'll work. It's not a good attitude to have when you go to work. Would you like your contractor to come to work on your house? Put shingles on and they're crooked as shit. And he looks at it and says, Ah, oh, that'll work. You'd like him to have that attitude too? Now, nah. my opinion is, you can't have that work attitude. Or, that's good enough. You know what I mean? I'm a perfectionist, I guess. I like to have things a certain way. It's not OCD, it's being a perfectionist. Have you seen some of my stuff on. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta go back. Uh, if you've seen some of my stuff. I do have another channel on YouTube. I will post a link in the description. I still have to do that yet. Uh, feel free to check out that link. I do live, live streams. Channel. I was on Twitch for a while. Now I'm doing it on YouTube again. I'm all our channel. I'm just trying to get back growing again. But uh, I make races. I'm a content creator on uh, GTA 5, which, yes, is still going for some reason, somehow. Many years later, it's been out. It's still going. I think it's more than 10 years now. It came out in 2013, so it's 11 years old. Well, we'll be 11 in October. Yeah, so, and, uh, and if you've seen some of my stuff, you'd be like, wow, that's crazy. Yes, it takes time, and it takes 
I used to do tutorial videos on how to make things. How to make races, how to do whatever. They went all right on my other channel before I deleted it. I had some views on that. Did all right. People want to learn how to do that stuff. But now the game's 11 years old. Most people already know how to do all that stuff. Okay. Attach. Delete. I'm going to change time of day again. One more load. <coughs> oh, I got a good picture. Mine, we need to get the thumbnail. It's my last turn. Last chance. I'm trying to figure out what spot do I want to pick though. I know. <laughs> but yes, I'm a perfectionist. That pretty much everything that I do, whether it be work related or otherwise. I never let my my kids mow my lawn. I never made them mow my lawn uh, because I like things a certain way, and I don't want to have to. I, I just can't watch somebody do that. <laughs> so, sorry. I mean, I'll teach them how to use a lawnmower and all that stuff, no blow work stuff, but I mean, I just like things done a certain way. It's not perfectionist. I don't know. I think that's what I would call it. I don't know what to call it. What else would it be? let it go. It has to be a certain way. It has to be striping. Can't have, have you going willy-nilly around the yard. Just straight lines out of nowhere. Got to get a picture right in this thing right here. That's right. That's a good spot right there. Up and running. Quick thumbnail. Gotta get this. It'll take a second. A snippet. Save. I'm a hunting pet guy. In case you haven't figured that. I cannot type. At least I've never learned. I never took it in school. I was supposed to. But back when I was in school. Hey, you matey! Uh, it was manual keyboards. The, uh... Regular keyboards just started coming out. So, like... Some places had the manual keyboard. Tink, tink, tink. All of that. And then they went to the basic keyboards like we have nowadays. Um, I never took it. You know, my, my uh, reasoning behind not taking typing classes, because in my brain back then, I'm not taking classes. I'm not going to be a secretary. I don't need to learn how to type. Boy, I was way off on that one. I know there are typing classes and stuff that you can take on YouTube. I really should. But in my what I do for a daily job, I don't do a lot of it. So. Not like I'm not writing programs or anything like that. Or writing a book. I'm not a, I'm not a, a writer. I don't create novels. I think I could write children's books. I think I'd be alright with that. Because they're pretty basic. But yeah, they teach a lesson, so... They may seem simple. But some of them actually have some kind of lesson or whatever. <laughs> anyway. I digress. I didn't take typing classes, so I suck at typing. 
That's what it comes down to. Unpack. One finger. Anytime I gotta do caps or punctuation or whatever, I have to use two fingers. I am typingly <laughs> challenged now, what you're calling. But I really, reg I do regret not taking the type class. I'm honest. Yes, so I got a picture. I got to make. I'm like brain farting here. I'm gonna like, okay. go back to some of my other videos. As soon as I'm done with this one today, this will be the last one I record for today. At least for now. I've only done two videos today. If you watch the last one and this one, uh, they were both recorded on the same day. So I need to uh, end the day completely, but I have some things to do. But I want to go back. So before I forget, I want to create a link, post it in the other video, even the previous one before that. The link. And I'm not a computer expert by any means. I know how to play some video games on it and use some streaming software, but in editing, as far as uh, photo editing, not Photoshop, but creating thumbnails, basic, basic, basic photo editing. Basic copy paste stuff. <laughs> Here, let's put this in here, and we're going to copy-paste this logo on it that I created in a different program. So if you're wondering how I do thumbnails, it's FOTOR, F-O-T-O-R. It's a free program. Take a screenshot. You can do all kinds of stuff on there. There's YouTube thumbnails, Twitch thumbnails, uh, just yeah, pretty much anything. And it's a lot of free stuff, a lot of free stuff. And then I use Flaming Text. You look up flaming text uh, for letters. That's how I created the uh, Snow Runner logo. I'll just put that on there. Very simple, very easy. And I can stretch it, make a PG or what do you call them things? I don't even know. JPEG. I think that's what's called. I use stretch it, put it anywhere you want. I got a couple different the sides. Gonna get by the kind of picture I took. A long one and then I have a good short square one ish. Alright, here we are. Final mission. Jingala. Now we're gonna detach. Delete. Cover. Leave. And I don't know what the next mission is, but we're gonna grab a trailer quick. Gonna need a trailer regardless of what we decide to do. Because even if I have to go to the next map, because I think well, let's take a look. We're gonna take a look. Oh, I we only have three left. So this one is over in the quarry. Medium lugs to the quarry. So by having the at the farm. Oh, nope, that's not it. Sawmill. This way. Quarry. No. There we go. Log station. There's another log station. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, you would not want to take logs across this. You'd probably lose your logs. I don't even know what's going to be at that one. But we're talking about the farm. Man, we're at the farm right now with these trailers. This stuff. And we need three logs. So do I make three trips? Uh, in Zimdegorsk, I believe. Go here. Drop my quarry. I think there's a logging. Right here. Log station. I'm pretty sure you can get whatever you want on this one. 
So if I have to take three logs down into the quarry, I can make a three trips or one suicidal trip with everything all together. We'll see what we do on that mission. But I want to thank everybody for watching this one. I do appreciate everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. It's actually a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop that down below. Check out the link below if you want to check out my live YouTube channel. I play GTA 5 on Sundays, every Sunday morning. 10 a.m. Central Time. Let's join in. We play the game. We race. Right now we're doing off-roading. Takes about two hours, hour and a half, two hours. Right around two. Actually, these are about, these are about two hours long. Streams. I'm trying to figure out another schedule to add in more. But until then, I want to thank everybody for watching this one, and we'll catch you all on the next video. Bye.